Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Josh. And I'm Jessica. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Last I checked. Yep. Today we are talking about uh, not a new movie, nope. doing something a little different. We're talking about a classic movie, one of Josh's favorites, yes, Aliens. It, yes. From it, what 1986, year? I think. Yeah, okay. Directed by James Cameron, starring Sigourney Weaver, Michael Bean, uh, Carrie Han, the late Bill Paxton, who was awesome. Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser, who was a jerk face in this movie. Yeah, if you thought you hated Paul Reiser, my two dads, wait until you see <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> my two dads. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, I'm hilarious. Comedy gold. <laughs> anyway. So we're doing this review because one of the theaters in our part of town uh, did, they do some uh, throwback stuff and showing old movies. And this is one that they had popped up. I saw it on Fandango. I was like, I have to go see this. And this is the only one of the alien movies I did not uh, see in the theater. Well, uh, you didn't see the original alien in the theater until you were, until it had been out for a long time because you were. Right. A very, very small child. Yeah, it would have been irresponsible of my parents <laughs> to... Uh, and it would have been irresponsible of your parents to let you see aliens in the theater as well. Right, because I was only like 11. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shh, but I didn't, I didn't have the uh, theater experience uh, for this one. And I finally got to have that opportunity. And it did On not disappoint. Oh, sh- and it was... <laughs> <laughs> Hush! Anyway, it did not disappoint. It's still a really great show. I did not go see it with you. No, you did not, because you're a chicken. <laughs> so, I have seen Aliens before. I saw it on TV. Right, I think it was uh, Annie. When, did uh, one. when, like that first year we were married. Right. And it was sufficiently scary on TV, and I felt no need to see it in a, the theater and be even more scared. So, there is that. Yeah. But you took a couple of. Yeah, I took my wow. nephew and my yes. oldest son, and they're five and seven. <laughs> yeah, they're five and seven. Yeah, parent of the year right here. No, they're they're much much older, and um, they had a good time. They hadn't seen it yet, and they really enjoyed the experience. So I'm glad I got to share this really great movie from my past to uh, a group of you know new generation, and I'm really happy that they enjoyed it. What do you love about this movie, Aliens? Why do you love it so much? Well, I like the continuing story from the first film. Mm-hmm. And I like that James Cameron did not try to rehash the first movie. Right. That's probably the best thing about this movie, in my opinion, I think, as far as you know, storytelling. I think that was a great idea to go the route that he did. Instead of making it like this claustrophobic horror movie, and there are plenty of like, you know, horror moments throughout this show... But it, it doesn't feel like that. Like the first one, just like you're expecting maybe this thing around every corner. Um, but yeah, I, that's the first thing I really like about this movie is that he, he changed up the formula and did something different, and turning into like a, an action thriller with some real scares. And um, just great acting in this movie all throughout. The whole ensemble, you know, cast, the, the Marines... Um, you know, Sigourney Weaver, Michael Bean, their interplay with one another was excellent. And uh, Carrie Henn, who this was her one and only movie role as She's uh, a little girl? Yeah, as Newt. Mm-hmm. And she was great. She's like, this is one of my favorite like parts for like a child actor was, mm-hmm. was that one. And this like her one and only movie. And she's like, nah, I'm not doing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> probably a wise move on her part. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway. She probably was too scared after making this movie to make another one. Well, I think the cool thing also is that, like, Sigourney Weaver and her have remained friends. Mm. And I think that's actually really neat. Um, you know, nice little side note there. Um, what else do I like about this movie? I like the visual effects. They are different than uh, the original. And the, they have surprisingly aged very well. I mean, yeah, I know how they made this movie. I've seen all the documentaries on behind the scenes and how they do the visual effects and stuff. And this is long, you know, quite some time before uh, computer-generated images taking over. And all the practical effects, I mean, they're still really great. (laughs) The monsters still look cool. The queen alien still looks awesome. And it's still hard to believe that that's a puppet. (laughs) Yeah. Granted, a giant one, but still... (laughs) 
So, and I know one of the things that you've talked about when talking about this movie before is this, like the opposing mothers kind yes. of idea. Yeah. Um, obviously, the the queen alien and her uh, brood of monsters, and uh, um, the uh, Sigourney Weaver and her um, role as a mother with uh, uh, Newt. Right. And I think that was kind of the, to me at the heart of the story, and especially if you see the director's cut of this film. Uh, you get even more of that, that that's kind of her motivation, you know, motherhood. Right. And I thought that was, uh, I think, added layers to the character of, of Ellen Ripley. So, so, like, Ellen Ripley wakes up and it's, like, years and years and years and years yeah, after the first 57 years alien. later. So, like, her daughter is dead, dead right? Like, yeah, she... Died of old age. Yeah. While, while she was in cryo sleep or whatever. Yeah, drifting through space. And so... Um, so then, yeah, so then she finds Newt, whose parents have been killed by... Yeah, her whole family's gone. Her whole town, essentially, right. on she's this town alone. is and she, gone. You know, she takes care of her, and she's just like... She just takes on this kind of mama bear protective role oh, for sure. Role yeah. With Newt. I did, I mean, because I have seen it before, yeah, so I see, you know, I that definitely can see that theme in the movie, this, you know... Yeah, and just like the intensity of her just like going back into the uh, heart of darkness, into the... Uh, alien hive to rescue her uh, I just I think is such a, a great a great scene in and of itself and the confrontation between Ripley and the Queen right there and then it just you know leading up to the end of the show it is fantastic I really yeah. still love this movie and and really I mean going back to Paul Reiser he really does play a wonderful jerk oh in this. massive turd bag my I mean you really hate him <laughs> my my nephew when one of the uh, things that uh Paul Reiser's character Burke does during the uh, you know when things are starting to go to crap on the planet he, he's under his breath I can hear him whisper you know douchebag <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny I'm like yes yes he, he is he was a real turd total just corporate jerk looking out for number one it was it was awful Anyway, but yeah. it is, you know, this, I, I have seen it. It is yeah. a good movie. It's, I I just can't handle the intensity of this film and, and the scariness of it, but. It's still a very intense movie. I mean, listening to my, my son and my nephew, they were like just gripped from the, the get-go of the show. Yeah. Never bored. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's how I felt when I first saw this movie. I was a little younger than they were, but still. The same things were there. It's just like, wow, this is intense. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else you want to talk about this movie? No, I don't think so. I mean, if you haven't seen this movie by now, shame on you. Um, <laughs> it, it is a classic. I think it is a great movie. And I think it's, in my opinion, this was uh, Sigourney Weaver's best role. I think she should have won for this part. She was nominated. And I, I think she should have won. I mean, it was so memorable and so good. And there was just like, not just a big action movie where stuff's blowing up. I mean, it had real moments of real humanity on display there between uh, the characters in the show and these actors and actresses that uh, did these roles. I mean, these did phenomenal jobs. Yeah. And it's still a great movie, even pff, 30 years later. Yeah. <laughs> so. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this watercolor that you have done for Aliens? Sure. Well, this is on a 9 by 12 piece of... Uh, watercolor paper and I liked um, a lot of the artwork and um, a movie poster uh, posters that came out f um, for the show back in the day scouring the internet trying to find some that I could use and I had a lot of fun doing this one um, watercolor is always a, a challenging thing it doesn't exactly do what you want it to do all the time most of the time I can get it to do what I want but every once in a while it does its own thing and Sometimes that looks cool, uh, much better than what I actually intended it to do. So, but you know, wanting to have like the main characters f front and center in this uh, in this poster, yeah, you know, Hicks, Ripley, and Newt. I also put in the uh, the power loader that Ripley uses to fight the Queen at the end of the show, yeah. which is also another great moment. In well, the... I just love the Queen behind the characters yeah. and just. Well, doing the lighting in the background, you know, very reminiscent of like the the feel of the movie when you first see this thing in the uh, egg chamber. You know, it's backlit, the the egg layer there, and it's translucent, and it just looks so cool and creepy, menacing, scary, all that stuff, all at the same time. 
and you know really tried to do that and putting the eggs down at the bottom right and left of the picture you know kind of symbolizing that that's where you are um anyway i hope you enjoyed the picture i had a great time painting it and if you haven't seen this movie definitely check it out it's and if you have seen it it's worth a, re a rewatch that is it thanks for joining us don't forget to like uh-huh and share uh-huh what else Mm, you tell me. Subscribe. Yes, do that for sure. And comment. comment. We'd love to hear from you. Tell your thoughts on this show or the other alien movies, not the AVP movies because they are lame. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, tell us about what you think of the picture, the movie, your experiences with seeing this movie, uh, or any other movies that you really love. Anyway. Or if you want us to do another classic film in the future, put that in the comments too. Excellent point. Also, check us out on Patreon. We have long-form podcast uh, spoiler reviews of movies that we see. Anyway. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Thanks.